Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Nicola and this is All Things Nicola. We have yet another controversial topic. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit. Yes, I am shooting the second video on the same day. Well done for me to say. Listen, meditation. What is meditation? The truth behind meditation, the vibes around meditation. Listen, I'm talking about a different kind of meditation, not what you're thinking. I'm gonna be talking to you about my own experience with it and we're gonna go from there. So as I said before, make sure you have your drink, which is, mine is almost finished. And I'm also eating a bit of pizza and we're gonna get straight into the video, all right? Let's go. Right, guys, listen, I know what you're thinking. Meditation. Juju, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening? No, we're not talking about that kind of meditation. We're talking about just being still, calming yourself down, relaxing yourself, thinking, releasing your thoughts, and being at peace. That's what we're talking about. Meditation is something I've recently researched a little bit about, Re you know, tried myself not in a spiritualistic way just in terms of quieting myself down relaxing myself switching off my phone switching off all my devices and just literally saying and let me tell you it's the most powerful tool I have seen to date. It's more powerful than trying to vent to someone. It's more powerful than um, screaming or shouting or crying, um, <clears throat> keeping yourself busy, all of those other methods. Um, obviously, worship is always gonna be number one for me. It's the best release for me, um, the most peaceful place, the best ever. But quieting yourself down and just meditating, you will definitely hear um, your inner self, you will hear God, you will hear that quieting down voice. Um, so I'm gonna share with you some of my top tips um, and how I started it and everything um, now, basically. So get a pen, get a paper and start writing. It's not really a lot. Basically what I do is like I just said, I will switch everything off, my phones, um, my TV, everything will be switched off. I will literally just sit on the carpet, I will have literally candles just in the house because I love scented candles. I love vanilla, I love cherry, I love everything. Um, and it's just so peaceful and it makes me calm down. It makes me relax and there's nothing playing. And it's literally just me sitting with my inner thoughts. It helps me release stress. Um, it helps me kind of recenter. Um, my life is so busy all the time, most of the time, there's always things going on. So it just helps me come back to that inner peace, that inner zen um, place, which makes things flow better and it kind of helps you to be less overwhelmed. I'm going to show you um, the candles that I recently purchased off of Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description for you. I'm not sure if they're going to be the same price. I did get them discounted. I think it was four for £16 or so, but I will check. Um, so these are basically the candles. These are like Himalayan salt candles. They don't have any um, fragrance or anything like that or any scent. And basically I just buy these little mini... Um, candles these ones the vanilla ones the vanilla flavor because that's my favorite flavor um, and then i just pop them in the middle there you can obviously get bigger ones they will last longer but i only put the i only purchased the, the smaller ones because i don't tend to put them on for too long so you just for a couple of hours or one hour whilst i'm just you know chilling and and trying to zen myself again and just want that atmosphere and just that vibe um peaceful vibe and everything so this is what I have purchased. Obviously, the whole idea is just a candle. It's just um, getting your mind back down to zero and starting again. Because 
one thing I've noticed about myself, you might be able to relate as well, um, is I get so overwhelmed when there's a lot of things going on, when there's a lot of pressure, when there's just too much happening, I get overwhelmed and I might shut down a little bit. But what I realise is when I am reaching that point, when I've reached that point, um, it shouldn't have to be when you get there. You should use this as a regular tool, like even if you do it once a day, where you just sit down, quiet yourself down, switch off everything and just go back to Zen um, and then carry on with the rest of the day. It helps you even when you pray, it helps you when you're trying to organize your life, when you're trying to do whatever you're doing, because you're already operating from that place of calm, which always makes everything a lot smoother, a lot easier, run faster, run better. But if you're operating from up here and you're frustrated, you're overwhelmed, you are anxious, you are not going to make the best decisions. You're not going to be able to be very productive. You're not going to be able to do very much. But if you're operating from a cool, calm, collective place, things run a lot smoother. So it is something I'm definitely implementing a lot more. Um, I haven't had much time to do that in a little while, but I'm definitely going to get back onto that because um, it is very, very helpful. So if you have used the Himalayan salt candles or any other candles that you've used, um, or if you like candles or if you can recommend anything, um, definitely let me know about your experiences with meditation, this kind of meditation, not spiritualized meditation or any of that. Um, this is literally just calming down and being, your, being at peace and everything. Um, yeah, so there's a scripture I wanna share with you as well, which I'm just gonna get up um, for you. Okay. <clears throat> so it is in Philippians. I'm sure you already know which scripture I'm gonna get up. Yes, perfect. Ooh. Yes, so um, it's Philippians 4 from verse 4. I'm going to read. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God which surpasses and transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. So that's the scripture I just want to share with you guys connected to the meditation I'm talking about. Um, please definitely give it a go and get that peace of mind, um, focus and just zen and just give everything back to god whilst you're in the process and um, i hope this helps and i wish you a lovely lovely day and i will see you next time all things nicola and we are out